Again, one more thing about Chidambaram that we several of us miss is that just around Chidambaram we have three other paddle petra stalams. One of it is in the other direction, you're not going there, but two of them are inside the Anamala University campus, which is the first of which we are here at Thirun Elvayil, and the next one is Thirukkali Palai. Both of them have been constructed, reconstructed in the last one century, but that aside, both of them are Padal Petrasthalam. So here Thirun Elvayil, as the name goes, probably this part of Chidambaram, the southeast part of Chidambaram was full of paddy fields, and the temple was right in the center of the uh, paddy fields. So when the Tevaram authors came here, the environment had its own impact on them and they have sung about how rich and fertile this region is. Jnanasambandha Piraman, when he had come to Chidambaram, he starts singing about the Dikshitars first. Before even mentioning about Nataraja or the city, he starts singing about the Dikshitars. He's, he celebrates their commitment to perform the Yajnas in the specific times and ensure that the world is protected from Kali and their commitment towards Nataraja and all that is celebrated. Then he feels the boundaries of Chidambaram, the four streets around the temple, is not, he is not worthy of staying there. That's how he looks at it. He feels, no, this is only for the Dikshitars because they are Shivakanas themselves and inside Chidambaram only they can stay. So he camps outside Chidambaram in this region, around Thirukkali Palai, Thirunel Vail, both of the temples that we will be visiting. So he stays here. And during his stay, every day he goes from here to Chidambaram and sings the deity there, has a darshan and comes back. So that's how it's looked upon. The speciality of Chidambaram, this is an interesting anecdote from the life of Jnana Sambandar, very similar to Nandanar. Nandanar, after trying with himself, you know, questioning himself and fighting within, within and with himself, finally he decides to make one journey to Chidambaram. He comes, crosses the Kolidam River, enters the outskirts of Chidambaram, walks in, enjoys the grooves and all that and when he comes close to the boundary of Chidambaram city, he steps in, one step in and Shekhidar says all that he got to see were 3000 Ahudis being given, 3000 Yajnas being performed, one each for the Dikshitars. So and the, the sky above Chidambaram was just filled with the Yajna uh, uh, smoke and then he decides and for a moment he's, 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 he stands frozen there, he sees and he could visualize Kailasha and all the Dikshitars perform, serving Nataraja as Shivaganas. So he quickly retreats, he comes out and he says, no, I'm not stepping in. So this <coughs> fight within him went for three days. That's what Shekhidar says, three days and three nights. He never slept. He went around and around the shrine. He was not sure if he could enter. And he keeps crying, not knowing how to deal with it. He again prays to Nataraja and that is when on the third night, Nataraja appears in the dream of Nandanar and says that the Dikshitars will come and give him a well-established protocol welcome. And in the dreams of the Dikshitar, all the 3000, Nataraja commands that the south of this great city of Chidambaram is waiting. A great devotee of mine, go there and with all the due respects, invite him to the city. And if he denies entry, promise him that the, the, the impurities that he thinks he is with can be shed by entering the Yajna fire and commands that a, an Agni is installed in the south entrance. That's how Nandanar also walks through the fire pit and comes out as Tirunale Povar and Ma Munivar. That's how Shekhidar describes. He says, he entered the fire pit as Nandanar and when he came out, he was Tirunalai Povar and Ma Munivar. He had a Jatabaram, he was with Rudraksha Vasmadaranam and all and comes out as a great devotee himself and enters Kanaka Sabai. People who could see him till he entered Kanaka Sabai lost vision of him as he stepped inside the Chit Sabai. And that moment he merges with Nataraja. So, the, the uh, Acharyas always had a Sankalpam that they will not stay inside Chidambaram but outside, in the outskirts. So, Jnanasam Mandar also stayed here and this should have been a small settlement in those days. So, he had come and prayed to Trinal Vayil. He's called as Uchinadeswara or Madhyana Purishwara, Madhyana uh, uh, Swami. So, uh, the Madhyana Kala Puja here is very special. <laughs>